Hey, welcome to our weekly scripture reading. Today we're going to continue reading in the Gospel of Mark. And I pray that we learn much from the reading of this Gospel account. So, pull out your Bible, turn to Mark chapter 13. Let's read a chapter of God's Word together. Mark 13, 1. Then as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Teacher, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here? And Jesus answered and said to him, do you see these great buildings? Not one stone shall be left upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign when all these things will be fulfilled? And Jesus answering them said, began to say, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and will deceive many. But when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be troubled, for such things must happen. But the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be earthquakes in various places, and there will be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. But watch out for yourselves, for they will deliver you up to councils. You will be beaten in the synagogues. You will be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony to them. And the gospel must first be preached to all the nations. But when they arrest you and deliver you up, do not worry beforehand or premeditate what you will speak. But whatever is given you in that hour, speak that. For it is not you who speak, but the Holy Spirit. Now brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child, and the children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. So when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in the mount in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not go down into the house, nor enter to take anything out of his house. And let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days. And pray that your flight may not be in winter. For those days, for in those days there will be tribulation, such as has not been since the cre beginning of the creation, which God created until this time, nor ever shall be. Unless the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom he chose, he shortened the days. Therefore, if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Christ, or look, he is there, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will arise and show signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. But take heed. See, I have told you all things beforehand. But in those days, after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars of heaven will fall and the powers of, in the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send his angels and gather together his elect from the four winds, from the furthest part of the earth to the furthest part of heaven. Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see these things happening, know that it is near, at the doors. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will not by no means pass away till all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. But that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Take heed, watch and pray, for you do not know when the time is. It's like a man going to a far country who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to each his work and commanded the doorkeeper to watch. Watch, therefore, for you do not know when the master of the house is coming. In the evening, at midnight, at the crowing of the rooster, or in the morning. Lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say to you, I say to all, watch. Let's pray. Father, I ask that you would help us to watch. Because, Father, we know that your return is near. So we ask that you would continue to remind us uh, of that event that is, a, that is soon to arrive. We thank you and praise you for all you do with us now. For us in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray the Lord has blessed you from this chapter. If you have a question, a prayer request, 
or like to receive his readings and daily devotions directly, please feel free to email me at shinethelightforhim at mail.com. Now tomorrow we're going to continue our study of Christ in the church from Paul's letter to the Colossians in chapter 3. Thank you and may God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.